Welcome back to Plum Daily. Thanks for tuning in. It is the end of the show and we do like to talk about cocktails or in this case, bubbles uh, on the morning show. With me to talk about it, Vilma Mazait. She is a advanced sommelier at The Little Now and uh, does this amazing event, ladies, wait for it. It's called Wine in Heels. Correct. How are you doing today? I am great. How are you? <laughs> Fabulous. It's never too early for bubbles, is it? Oh, absolutely not. And it's uh, if you would have an omelette next to you and bubbles, that would be even a better morning. Perfect start <laughs> to a Friday morning. Before we talk about some of these fabulous wines that you did bring, um, Wine in Hills. Yes. Who started this concept and what exactly is it for those who haven't had the, 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 the luxury of attending? Well, the idea of it was born almost almost a year ago. I started my blog. It's called Everyday Wine the Vilma. It's under the kitchen hotline um, dot com, and um, where I blogged about my passion about wine and uh, some other addictions like shopping and shoes. <laughs> and uh, I decided to share with passion with my girlfriends here in Aspen. And uh, certain things that I talk about, I probably wouldn't be able to talk if there were men present. So I decided to do Women Only Wine Club. Uh, it's a um, wine educational class, but it's done through great sense of humor and passion. It certainly is. So it's a small group. It's like 20 to 30 women, and it's upstairs at the, the Dancing Bear. Correct. Um, and it's, it's twice uh, every second Friday, right? Exactly. So the next one is going to be on September 9, mm -hmm. and it's going to be Wine and Sweets. Ooh, different theme each time, because the one I went to was wine and comfort food, right? So every class is different, so we combine it with food, so it's food and wine pairings, and it's very unconventional. I try to find great finds that don't break the bank, and uh, they'll change your life forever. Mm, and the one after wine and sweets is wine and tacos? Wine and tacos. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. And uh, you pair up with the chef Sarah, right, and she serves the food? Chef Sarah, she used to be a chef at uh, Little Nell as well, but she's doing her private catering at the moment and she's helping me with the food and she's fantastic. It's pretty amazing, you know, quality women and friends are hard to find in Aspen and then you get 30 of us in a room drinking wine, Dangerous. eating fabulous food. <laughs> Boys, you only wish you knew what went on in that room, but Wine and Heels, highly recommend it. Um, let's you. go to some of your picks because I asked you to bring a couple of little different flavors this morning to talk about. Um, what's this one that you just poured for us? That's a sparkling Vouvray. That's this one? That's, yes, it's Huet. Um, Patillard Vouvray, it's, um, it's semi-sparkling, so it's not as bubbly as champagne, but definitely you get your uh, regular dose of bubbles, uh, plenty of it, um, and it's different. It's, the price is definitely less than a good bottle of champagne, and it's as close as you can get to champagne without spending the money, and it's delicious. So Vouvray is Chenin Blanc, so you get all baked apple, pear, honey notes, it's absolutely fantastic. Never heard of a semi-sparkling before. Well, I can't say never, but you rarely hear of semi-sparkling. Absolutely. It is delicious. Um, how about this one? What's the one in the middle? Well, it's still summer and I enjoy rosés and I think sometimes it's so underappreciated and summer is the perfect time to enjoy it or grab a bottle with your favorite picnic items. Um, so this one is for, from Portugal. It's Vino Verde. It's just fruity and delicious and it has a little bit of frizz going on as well you can see i i love bubbles mm -hmm. and then this one here on the end and this is a gamay it's a um, simple beaujolais from um region in france in burgundy and it's again very fruity very light red similar to pinot noir but mm. You know, different. I love it. Sommeliers uh, have a style that they pick, and when you match up or, or regularly work with sommeliers, you can definitely find trends. And uh, these ones definitely represent you and uh, great additions to the Wine and Hills event. Those interested in uh, going to Wine and Hills, is there a website? Absolutely. So you can log in on the, the kitchenhotline.com and it's going to direct you to the events, and Wine and Hills is go. one of them. Velma, stay with us right now. We're going to go to a quick piece. This is some cocktails that I got to mix up at the St. Regis just last week. Take a look.